I attended a talk recently and it was a 15 minute talk and uh, the talk was, well, not great, rubbish, could have done better. So I was thinking, you know, I wanted to give the person feedback. I wanted to tell them how I experienced the talk. And in my mind, I was like, well, he didn't ask for it. It's not really my place. But I felt like such a fraud because it was rubbish when the person could have done so much better. And um, so I undertook to invite him to see if he'd like to hear my feedback. And he's agreed. And I thought, you know, how do I do that? And I thought, well, I could give them a choice, right? So you give a one, between a one and ten feedback. One is, the talk was great. Or ten is bang, <laughs> straight to the heart with love and compassion always, um, because we can all be brutally honest, more brutal than honest. So that's not helpful. And it reminded me of uh, my daughter. We used to do this, uh, my youngest daughter, we used to do the scare thing. And she'd say, give me a scare between one and 10. I'd go, Boo. and then two, Boo. like up to three, up to four. I never got past, I think four or five, because I think if I got up past six, seven, eight, I'd have scared myself. But it's interesting with feedback, you know, there's people see us so clearly and, and, and we see them so clearly and we don't always give feedback. So maybe that's something you want to try, you know. Can I give you some feedback? Yes, great. Would you like it between one? Where would you like it between one and 10? You can do one, which is just massage your ego. Same, same, no, no change or cause a transformation in your being and your experience. Uh, Edmund Peake, I think it was the uh, 19th century politician said, a good scare is worth more to a man than good advice.